Hello ladies and gentlemen, Adrian here for DigitalDojos.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the app known as Pixelmator. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, Pixelmator is an OS X and iOS based application is available for iPhone and iPad. And today, this case, we're taking a look at the Mac version for OS X is a really full featured image editor that is just super affordable and super extensible as far as it can be used by, you know, novice editors like myself. <laughs> it can be used for designers, uh, really anybody who wants to work with images in any capacity, whether you're editing images that you've taken or you're creating images. And the reason I want to overview Pixelmator today is because I have an upcoming series of content on this application, how to do cool things like remove objects from photos, how to clone objects in photos and, and things of that nature. And I want to thank the folks over at Pixelmator for sponsoring that upcoming series of content. So I thought it would be best to showcase why I personally use this app on the Mac. Primarily, I always use it on OS X if I'm doing any editing. And you know, why it's such a great editor. So you can see the interface here, super simple, super minimal, uh, very Apple-esque in that sense. It fits the environment very well and the mobile applications have won awards as well for that very same reason. As you can see here, very minimal UI has a main focus on, of course, your work the thing that you're editing. And then from there, you have these three sub menus or sub windows, I should say. You have your tools on the left here and you have a ton of tools. You have your selection tool, your magic wand tool. You have like the red eye reduction, your lasso tools, marquee tools, crop tools. Uh, there's a whole bunch of tools, obviously, and pretty much anything that you can think of to get a specific job done. And, and really you're, with these apps, you're just limited by your creativity in, in a sense. Um, and the great thing about it, of course, supports great keyboard shortcuts. So for example, if I hit W, it will automatically jump to the magic wand tool. You can see it kind of does this little magnifying thing so it knows what tool I'm using. And then when I hover over, you can see I get the little cursor for it as well. On the right, you have support for layers. And of course, you have your blending option. So if you've ever worked with layers, it's a really great way to kind of focus and, and work on obviously uh, certain areas of an image without kind of uh, disturbing another layer, obviously. And then you have effects browser down here, which you can look at all effects or just browse a specific effect. And you can even preview certain effects here. So if I just kind of run my cursor over something here, you can see it previews it before I apply it. And to apply, it's as simple as clicking on an effect and then dragging it over to the image. Now, here's another thing I love about Pixelmator. As you can see here, once I adjust that effect, it automatically gives me the brightness and contrast window and fades everything else out. And this case, it focuses on the effect I'm trying to use and the image itself. And this is what I'm talking about as far as the UI. I really like this because there's a lot of other image editing apps where you have this sort of sub window, uh, you know, menus as well. And it gets really cluttered. And when you're kind of adjusting, trying to adjust one thing, you have all these other windows going on in the background. This keeps it simple, allows me to focus just on the one thing I want to do. And then once I apply that, everything else kind of comes back into focus. Uh, and speaking of the UI, in the top left, since it is a Mac, you have your menu bar options as well. So file, edit, image, layer, view, window, share, and help. And of course, you can do a lot of things from that menu as well. But I highly advise if you're going to be using this application, try and learn the keyboard shortcuts. It makes everything much more faster in your workflow, that much more easier. Um, I really love this view as well. So the full screen view makes it even much more simpler and cleaner and personally like I don't like seeing the desktop in the background with wallpaper or other windows and then it keeps your things like layers tools effects browser above the actual working canvas here uh, Pixelmator itself is just a really great and easy to use application again whether you're someone like me who just takes photos on a you know a basic like a t4i or a iPhone for that matter, and just wants to do some fine tuning to your photos or do things as simple as like red eye reduction or what have you, cloning objects, removing objects. You can do all of that within Pixelmator. Don't think it's just about editing images because you can do really great works of art with the vector tools that they offer, the painting tools that they offer. And it's built from the ground up for OS X. It has support for things like the Force Touch trackpad if you have one of those. It has support for things like handoff. So a really great thing about it is I can be working on this image and then I can, let's say I have to go and I have to you know, be on the move. I can pick it up on my iPhone. I can pick it up on my iPad super, super, you know, really, really easily and just start editing it on the go. And I love that kind of 
environment when it comes to image editing. I don't have to worry that like if I have to be on the go, if I don't have a laptop, for example, um, then I wouldn't be able to edit my image. I can just do that on my phone. I can do it on my iPad. And those mobile apps are really, really greatly designed and super affordable as well. It's like $5 for the iPhone edition, $30 for the Mac OS X edition, super affordable compared to a lot of other pro suites out there. And it does a lot of the same things and takes a lot of other great things into account like UI. You're not really you know, losing anything for, for paying for a more affordable application. You're getting all the great tools, you're getting a great UI, and you're getting a great feature set for you to work with. Improve your photos, paint, add effects, fine tune stuff, whatever it may be. You can do it all with Pixelmator. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the application. Really, I'm just scratching the surface with this. We're gonna go into some more in-depth tutorials for not just the OS X version, but the mobile version as well. So stay tuned for those videos. If you enjoyed, hit that thumbs up button. If you wanna try out the Pixelmator app, you OS X users, feel free to check out the 30-day trial in the link down below, and I'll catch you all in the next video.